The question is on 31st March 2003, G Limited had rupees 8 lakh 9 percent debentures due for redemption. The company had a balance of rupees 1 lakh 40 thousand in its debenture redemption reserve. Pass necessary journal entry for redemption of debentures. Hence, journal entry of G Limited. And here, the date is 2003, March 31st. It has a balance. And the company had a balance on this debenture, past necessary journal entries for redemption of debentures. Here you have to take the year 2003. And I have not taken the year, but I have taken the date. First entry, balance in statement of a profit and loss account debited to debenture redemption reserve account. Being the required amount of transfer to debenture redemption reserve account. That is rupees 2 lakh. Why rupees 2 lakh? It is 8 lakh into 25 percent. The required amount as per the Finance Act 2013, the required amount is 25 percent of the face value of debentures to be redeemed before considering premium on redemption. That is 8 lakh into 25 percent, that is rupees 2 lakh. And we have already transferred and a balance is lying in debenture redemption reserve account at rupees 1 lakh 40 thousand. 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 40 thousand that is equal to 60 thousand in the debit and credit columns. Then after that the next entry is the same day debenture redemption investment account debited to bank account not on the same day the maximum Let when you can invest, you have to invest 15% of the face value of debentures before redemption in specified securities that is on or before April 30 of the year in which 2003 in which you have deducted the amount from the profit and loss account or transferred it to debenture redemption reserve account. Hence, debenture redemption investment account debited to bank account that is 8 lakh into 15 percent. The narration will be being 15 percent of the face value of debentures invested in debenture redemption investment account that is rupees 8 lakhs, 8 crores into 15 percent. Sorry, it is 8 lakhs. By mistake, I have written 8 crores. This is 8 lakh, 8 lakh into 15 percent. That is rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand both in the debit and credit. Then after that we can start redemption process. This investment are not mandatorily sold. This is they are telling it is it will be now redeemed. But we have sold the investment again on the same date. We sold it that is 2003 31st March bank account debited to debenture redemption fund investment account. We sold out the investment. Being investment amount now in cash for redemption. Same amount. 1,20,000 in the debit and credit. The next one is due entry for redemption. That is 9% debentures account debited to debenture holders account. Being rupees 8 lakh 9% debentures due for redemption. We have to write down rupee symbol before that 8 lakh. That is 8 lakh, 8 lakh. Now the debentures are due. The time has come for redemption. And now pay the debenture holders. That is debenture holders account debited to bank account. Same amount. Being debenture holders redeemed or paid. Next one will be all the debentures are redeemed. Hence we have to close the DRR. Debenture redemption reserve will be closed by transferring it to general reserve account. Hence, DRR is a credit balance. If it is debited, then that is closed. Debenture redemption reserve account debited to general reserve account. That is debit 2 lakh, credit 2 lakh rupees. Being the debenture redemption reserve account is closed by transferring it to general reserve account. Now, total both debit and credit columns and the amounts will be rupees 21 lakh, both debit and credit. And this is the final answer.